Morning, my boy. Um, okay, so I really like this one. Um, sort of fuller, longer swing. Takeaway good. Obviously, aiming a little bit down the left, which forces you to rotate better, I think, as well. Um, obviously, with the driver, we don't have to set it earlier than that. Uh, with irons, we will need to set it a little bit earlier than that. Okay, but it's on plane and above your forearm, which is really, really good. Good little signs there. Okay, parallel above. It's pretty much the best we've had it with the driver. Okay, then it sets nicely. All right, it's not too much movement here. That left leg works nice and hard at the top. Drop it on plane. It's almost in the same slot halfway back. And now I touch flatter. So that's perfect. Body opens up without backing out. See how your body rotates but maintains its angles. So although it doesn't feel like it, you can still see there's enough tilt. The right shoulder is still quite low, so this is actually a neutral position, not a fade position. Okay, and then that face is a touch open, but at least it's more on line. It's right towards the back of the ball. You know, we've had it in here for a while. Okay, so that's right at the back of the ball. Just the face is very, very slightly open. But plane-wise and path-wise and sequence-wise and posture-wise, that's pretty much exactly where we want it. Okay, and then obviously release it down the line. And that thing came out dead straight. Okay, so I like this one a lot, mate. Okay, this one was close as well. Um, the flight was good. I just didn't quite have the snap on it. Um, but again, really... Compared to Friday last and, and, and the week before, um, a lot of good stuff here. So setup looking good. Takeaway online. Parallel above. It's not quite fully set, is it? So it just, and the hand position here is so good. You can see the club just doesn't fully load at the top there. That's all it is. Okay, so then open up the body. Posture stays, which is good. Club kicks out in front of you. So again, more on top of the ball. Now compared to the drivers, you see how level the shoulders are, chest on top of the ball, hips opening up. Club out in front of you on plane, it's not underneath. So it's all good stuff. And then that impact position is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, got the face square, ball started on line. Okay, it just didn't quite have enough snap in it, and that was mostly because of that position there at the top. So just a tiny bit softer there in the hands at the top. Load the shaft, do everything the same. Okay, and that ball come out. Not only straight, it'll start to come out the correct distance that we're after. Okay, mate, looks really, really good, bud. Hey, buddy. Okay, um, a lot of good stuff. We're getting there definitely. Um, obviously, still going to need some reps. Okay. Um, but basically, yeah, when you, especially the long comes, when you feel sort of more like you're rotating this way and on top of the ball and not this way, okay, even if some start left, even if some are a bit cutty, that's okay. But as long as we're more, as long as we're turning in that posture there, okay, and not here and flicking. All right, so that goes through the wedges as well. Um, but you make some terrific swings, especially in the beginning. Um, you know, you say you turn one over, you know, you, you did turn one over on a very windy day and it wasn't terrible and now it's with a double on six, which was really just one shot. Um, you know, so you could have quite easily been one, two under, but even at one over, the round was still there for you. Um, and then, you know, I'm not quite sure what happened mentally. Uh, on the back line when you just started trying to hit this driver harder and harder and it's just getting more and more more and more underneath and backing out of our posture. Um, 
you know, whereas like two, I've really set you on two, you really made an effort to set the club at the top and then kick, kick your body this way instead of that way, and that one was close. Um, yeah, and then somewhere between 10, 13, and then 16, and 17, uh, and 18, sorry, that whole section there, I just became such a mess. Uh, just getting this off. I mean, you make some good up and downs, don't get me wrong, you make some good putts, but, you know, I don't, I'm not sure why you try and get that driver that hard when you know there's a speed issue and you know there's a posture issue. I, I, I'm not sure you get a different club or you do what you did on two and make sure you set it and rotate on the correct angle. Um, but anyway, you know what to do. Uh, otherwise, at three woods um, and three irons, full set and then kick the club out and kick the body a little more rotary and a little less underneath with stalling. Right, short game I'm happy with. Um, one or two out the rough, out the cuckoo, just came a little bit higher in the face, so it just came out a little lower and deader than, um, than you wanted. Uh, just practice with those lies that are kind of sitting up off the ground a little bit. Just practice either through a really off the right toe and just kind of catching it on the way down with the, with the log wedge, or, okay, just sort of grip down a little bit, be a little bit taller, okay, and see if you can catch it, pretend to catch it a little thin. Okay, just see which one you prefer, which one is more predictable uh, with the ball speed coming out. Uh, but just fiddle with those two techniques out of those sort of fluffy cuckoo lies. Um, putting excellent every now and then, the touch still not quite down the longer putts, but you know, the greens are still a little bit inconsistent, so I'm not too upset with that. Uh, wedges were much better. Okay, and then every now and then, even if it's just for practice or warm up or routine. I'd still like a little bit less face rotation. Okay, so just keep working on feeling like the club shut here, shut coming in, and then open going through. Okay, even if you overdo it and then you work out where correct is, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so we will stay on top of it. So just practice that every now and then. Okay, a little shut, shut, shut at the top, shut coming down, and then open going through. Okay. Obviously, because of a little bit of the plane and the posture, okay, there's a little bit too much face rotation happening. Okay, so we sort of kind of bring those two things closer together. Okay, otherwise, obviously, a lot of great stuff out there, um, and just keep it up. Um, yeah, all right.